Hello and welcome to another episode of It Came From The Page. And yes, today I am back doing tags again. I took a brief break from doing tags uh, and I still do have two tags that I was tagged in that I haven't done yet. So uh, maybe in the next few Tuesdays I will catch up on those. I have not had a great day so far, so apologies if this is more of a grumpy video than normal. Uh, the little hellion known as Loomis, my orange cat, has just been uh, a nightmare recently because he is bored. I think he misses the kittens, so he is getting very destructive and <laughs> just <laughs> being a very big pain in the neck. Uh, he was like attacking my feet in order to get me up, and then as soon as I got up to feed everybody, then Jughead was not wanting to eat the food that he was supposed to, like the healthy food for him. And I just kept being like, you used to love this food, and now you suddenly decided you don't like this food. And I was like, why? <laughs> and I just kept like putting it in front of him, and then he would take a few bites, and then he would leave, and blah, blah, blah. And eventually he just got, like, I put it in front of him so many times and like switched out the food he wanted, and he'd be like, no, no, eat this food, the food you want. Then he got angry, he, well, that he, he got grumpy, I decided to hide under the bed for a while, just like, <laughs> if you don't want me to eat what I want for breakfast, I will not eat what, any breakfast. And I was like, oh my goodness. So then I was worried about Jughead. Anyways, anyways. Uh, and then I watched a terrible movie this morning for a podcast, The Resurrected by Dan O'Bannon. Awful movie, very boring, based off of some H.P. Lovecraft book, which I'm sure is also boring and bad. Uh, so yes, uh... <laughs> I am back doing some tags, and hopefully I will cheer up through the uh, process of doing this tag. Today I'm doing the, the Traveling with Books tag, and I was very kindly tagged by Enter the Book, and she tagged me while she was on vacation. I was like, oh, I, and she didn't even have internet, so she was just off the top of her head. She, like, named a few channels, and I was very surprised, and, uh, you know, touched i was touched someone on vacation and they, they they think to tag me into a thing so that was fun so there are six questions and uh let's just get started number one do you read when you travel so this is interesting so this entire tag will be a little bit interesting because there is a before stroke and after stroke because uh, after stroke is where i'm living right now if you didn't know 2020 i had a stroke and it just completely like derailed most of my life um which is probably why my mood gets a little bit up and down. Just it's one of the things that happens when you get a brain injury. You don't have a, a great mood all the time, so your mood kind of fluctuates. But uh, we're working on that. Um, but I used to, when I when I traveled, I used to read so much when I traveled. Um, and obviously I haven't been traveling a lot lately. Uh, but when I did travel and I went home for Christmas, I tried to read while I was traveling and it just did not work. I was on, like, every time I was on you know, on a plane or anything like that, it literally hurt to be on a plane because it just jiggled so much and everything was called like bumpy and everything like that. So I got like a lot of nerve pain and stuff like that. And it was just not a very fun experience. A lot of brain fog, uh, a lot of just uh, grumpiness. But uh, I did find that I was able to read audiobooks. So that was cool. But um, this goes into question two and it says, do you travel with paper books? And I did. So on that adventure, I did take some paper books with me, um, but I didn't read them. Like, because what happened, what I used to do is I used to just pack an entire bag full of books, and then I went on vacation and then spent most of the nights on vacation reading, and I used to get the most reading I ever would get done uh, during vacation, and it was all, like, those physical books, uh, so I tried that again when I went home for Christmas last year, thinking that it was something I'd be able to do again. Uh, no, no, no. So I did travel with paper books, but in the future I will not be. <laughs> Three, do you travel with an e-reader? Yes, I also travel with an e-reader everywhere. E-readers I probably will still take with me wherever I go. Uh, in the odd case that I do get a few good brain foggish, not in pain days. Uh, but uh, for the most part, you know, I now use audiobooks. So I was on the, it was very funny, I, uh, during Christmas I was listening to the Stephen King's Skeleton Crew collection um, on like on the plane as I was traveling back home. 
And I, that, I don't think that was a very good collection. This is not one of my favorite Stephen King short story collections at all. So <laughs> I was like listening to a bad book while, while traveling, which I'm sure did not help my, my mood at all because it was very jumbly and, and disruptive. Uh, four, how many books do you pack when you travel? So I used to pack tons. Like, like I said, I used to fill up a carry-on bank, like a backpack with books. So I would say probably about mm, at least eight at least eight books and read those all while I was on vacation. And it was like, we'd go and do some fun stuff. And then when we get home uh, for the evening, I would just sit back, relax and read. And it used to be the only time I used to get reading done. Cause I worked like way too much. I had a very unhealthy work schedule um, pre having the stroke. So whenever I was on vacation, that was the only time I really got reading done. And uh, yeah, so I used to pack tons. <laughs> Five. Does where you go or how long you travel affect the amount of books slash type you bring? So it should, but it never does. Because what happens is I still pack a bag full of books whenever I leave or used to. Again, now I would probably just pack an e-reader. Um, but before I would pack like an entire collection of, of books, no matter if it was like an overnight thing. Because for whatever reason, I was like, well, what if I magically finish this book? Uh, and that, even though... Uh, was unrealistic to even get halfway through that book, but I would be bring like three, four times the amount I needed on the trip just because I overpack with books. Obviously, I don't overpack with anything important, but with books, I always overpack. <laughs> so it's very funny. Uh, six, do you buy books when you travel slash visit bookstores slash libraries? So I don't visit libraries when I travel but literally the only reason I travel, like the only good parts of traveling now is going to a new store with a bunch of bookstores because that was the only part of, of going home for Christmas last year that I managed to get any enjoyment out of. It was quite a hassle going home last year because I went home, I was supposed to stay with my parents, then my parents got COVID, so I had to stay with my friends. So it was like a huge mess. Like that was a very sloppy uh, vacation anyways but what was nice about staying with my friends is that they were in I they live in in an area that I wouldn't have got a chance to explore otherwise and that area had a ton of books so book had a ton of bookstores so I would just kind of go around and uh you know get a whole bunch of books like I got I uh, at least two, three bags like full of books that I fit into my suitcases because I probably bought like I would say probably at least 20 books while I was on vacation. And that was like the only time I was like really like, wow, this is fun. Obviously, it was nice to visit friends and family, but like, you know, I was still in pain. It was still brain fog and all that normal stuff. But actually being able to go out and be like, oh, books uh bookstores remember what i could read oh wow so i just get a whole bunch of books so that's like a main feature of any traveling i do in the future not that i'll be doing much traveling in the future like i said it's very painful to travel right now and it's very like my brain fog just gets bad so it's not really worth it but um that is the only thing i like about traveling now is going to bookstores so <laughs> Seven is opportunity tag. I'm pretty sure I've seen, I'm pretty sure most of the people I follow have done this tag. Uh, if you haven't and you want to, uh, you know, here's your tag. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and do it. But I, I do think most people have done this tag by now. And yeah, I'm hopping back into the tag game. Uh, so yes, feel free to start tagging me again in things. Um, and I will make the decision to either catch up on those past two tags I missed or just forget I was ever tagged and then just tag me going forward i don't know regardless uh i hope you guys are having a good day much better than mine hopefully <laughs> and uh i will talk to you guys on friday uh just so you know probably next tuesday there won't be a video i have a whole bunch of medical tests again okay goodbye